Hi everyone, welcome to Adharshala coding classes. Today we are making a project on code.org using the sprite lab to see how to create a sprite and how to move it using behaviors. So let's start. On my screen, if you can notice, in the right side, there's a workspace area and in the left side, there is the area where you can see the outcome. Blocks are available uh, in the left side where you can select anything for world, for sprites, for location, events, behaviors, loops, variables, math, logic, function, text or comments. So let's start. We'll first take a sprite and keep it inside the when run. Select a sprite of your choice. We have multiple options available. You can choose any one. Press on costume, press on new costume and select any one of whichever sprite you want to take. Let's say I'm searching for any animal and there are again lots of animals available. Whichever is your favorite, you can choose that one. For me, I feel uh, I like dogs and uh, rabbits the most. So maybe I can search for something like that only. So in, on the top of the screen, you will find search bar is available. I'm going to search for a dog. Now we have different types of dogs available. Whichever is your favorite, you can choose that one. Like uh, you can select, press on this plus option and you will be able to see the sprite on your screen. So I'm selecting this one, which I, I feel looks very cute. Go back to the code area. Select the sprite which you want to take on the screen and in the left, in the right side, you will see 200, 200 is available. This is here for showing you that uh, wherever you want to keep the sprite, you can select that location. Now, after taking a sprite, we need to keep a background as well. For that, I'm taking a set background option from world. Now, because I want to see this dog on a, a garden area, so I'm going to search something related to it. Now, I have three pictures of garden. I'm going to select the one which I can see in the first place. Again, press on the set background and select the background. Now, in this case, you can see I have to change the location. Again, press on that yellow button and move your sprite accordingly. Now, after taking these two blocks, I want that the sprite size should also be increased or decreased. So there is a block available, set sprite, select the sprite, then its size, whatever you want. So 50 is quite small, 100 is also a little bit small. So I'll keep it 200. Now it's coming very big. So let's move to 100 away. Okay, now I think we are done with this uh, sprite. So now let's see how we can make it move. In behaviors, you will find a block sprite behavior where you can begin any type of behavior of particular sprite which you want. For me, I want him to move in the left right direction or maybe he can go in towards the right side only. So I'm going to choose one of them. Let's say I'm going to select moving east and looping so that he should always be moving towards the east side and he is looping. That means continuously this whole process is happening. Now, after this, I wanted to get stop after some time. So I'm going to select a event and the event is whenever I press on the sprite, the sprite should stop this behavior of movement and he should stay, uh, stay over there whenever I press on him. So I'm going to take the same behavior again. And now let's see if it's working. I press on the run button. My sprite is moving towards the east side. And continuously he's moving. Now if I press on the sprite, it has stopped. 